So Dennis is asking, regarding cherubim and seraphim, does the Bible tell us if both of these creatures are at God's throne at the same time? Hi, Dennis. This is an interesting question. Um, so I, the short answer is not exactly. And, and there is kind of a, a little bit of a debate regarding exactly um, who are the seraphim? What are the cherubim? Are they really like different species of angels? Is this just a matter of title? What really is the difference there? Um, so really about the only time we see seraphim being referred to heavenly beings in heaven is in Isaiah 6, starting at verse 2. And it says, um, this is Isaiah having one of his first visions. He says, that above, he's sort of seeing the throne of God. He says, um, above it stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. So it knows the six wings for them. With two, he covered his face. With two, he covered his feet. And with two, he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Um, and then if we jump to verse six, it says, Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having in his hand a live coal, which he had taken with the tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it, and he said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away, and your sin is purged. So, um, let's unpack this a little bit. So um, they have six wings. Uh, this is not necessarily unique to only the seraphim, but we see angels with two wings, with four wings. Um, so here in this vision, they had six. Um, and then they um, they say, holy, 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 which is interesting. We'll get back to that. And then they uh, had that live coal and went and touched Isaiah's with it now this is important because the seraphim the just the word itself sort of means like burning till it's consumed up um and and that word sort of shows up earlier where the hebrews were bitten by the fiery serpents that word seraphim shows up again but in that case it was a descriptor of the snakes that they were fiery they were seraphim snakes so um, some people say, well, the seraphim then look like, uh, look like serpents. They'll look like flying snakes. Can't entirely rule that out. But in this context, it says they have feet, they have, um, or other places they, it says they have a face and, and say his. Um, so it, they probably could be more human like in this case. So that's seraphim. That, I just gave you a lot about what are they like and they're associated with fire often fire for seraphim now i mentioned they said holy 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 well that's interesting because we see that again in revelation 4 starting at verse 6 where it says before the throne now now we're definitely at the throne of god here um and there was a sea of glass like crystal and in the midst of the throne and around the throne so circling and encompassing the throne were four living creatures full of eyes in the front and back. The first living creature was like a lion. And then you could go on and on um, to verse eight. So Revelation four, verse eight, it says the four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. So slightly different than the holy, 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 um, the whole world is full filled with their, his glory that we see in Isaiah 6. Um, but it's a similar praise to God. I mean, th this is very important. You know, just you always see in presence of God, this being said. So here we have four creatures that are described a little bit differently um, in Revelation. Uh, but importantly here, these are circling the throne. And it's pretty well agreed by people that these here are actually cherubim. And if you read throughout the Bible, a lot of the Psalms, for example, um, they talk about the cherubim, like Psalm 1, 18, sorry, 1810. And he rode upon the cherub and flew and flew upon the wings of the wind. So God's throne is carried by, circled by the cherubim. And we see that very often throughout the Bible. Now, um, 
So you have these two different classes, one associated with the throne, the seraphim associated with fire. Um, and fortunately, Isaiah is the only time we ever see the seraphim, again, really called out by name, being in this, the same space as God. So um, do we see them together at the same time in the Bible? The answer is no. But, uh, but that doesn't mean they're not there. And we'll be talking about later on uh, who's in heaven and... You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of people in heaven. 